Deuteronomy chapters 8 through 10. You shall observe to do all the commands which I charge you today, that you may live and be multiplied, enter in and inherit the land which the Lord your God swear to give to your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way in which the Lord thy God led thee in the wilderness, that he might afflict thee and try thee, and that the things in thine heart might be made manifest, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he afflicted thee, and straightened thee with hunger, and fed thee with manna, that which thy fathers knew not. That he might teach thee that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God shall man live. Thy garments grew not old from off thee, thy shoes were not worn off from thee, thy feet were not painfully hardened, lo, these forty years. And thou shalt know in thine heart that as if any man should chasten his son, so the Lord thy God will chasten thee. And thou shalt keep the commands of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God will bring thee into a good and extensive land, where there are torrents of waters and fountains of deep places issuing through the plains through the mountains, a land of wheat and barley, where are vines, figs, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which thou shalt not eat thy bread with poverty, and thou shalt not want anything upon it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of its mountains thou shalt dig brass. And thou shalt eat and be filled, and shalt bless the Lord thy God on the good land which he has given thee. Take heed to thyself that thou forget not the Lord thy God, so as not to keep his commands, and his judgments, and his ordinances, which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses and dwelt in them, and thy oxen and thy sheep are multiplied to thee, and thy silver and thy gold are multiplied to thee, and all thy possessions are multiplied to thee, thou shouldest be exalted in heart, and forget the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, who brought thee through the great and terrible wilderness, where is the biting serpent and scorpion and drought, where there was no water, and who brought thee a fountain of water out of the flinty rock, who fed thee with manna in the wilderness, which thou knewest not, and thy fathers knew not, that he might afflict thee, and thoroughly try thee, and do thee good in thy latter days. Lest thou shouldest say in thine heart, My strength and the power of mine hand have wrought for me this great wealth, that thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, that he gives thee strength to get wealth, even that he may establish his covenant, which the Lord swore to thy fathers, as at this day. And it shall come to pass, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, and thou shouldest go after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. And all the other nations which the Lord God destroys before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye hearken not to the voice of the Lord your God. Hear, O Israel, thou goest this day across Jordan to inherit nations greater and stronger than yourselves, cities great and walled up to heaven, a people great and many and tall, the sons of Enoch, whom thou knowest, and concerning whom thou hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Enoch? And thou shalt know today that the Lord thy God, he shall go before thy face. He is a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, and he shall turn them back before thee, and shall destroy them quickly, as the Lord said to thee. Speak not in thy heart, when the Lord thy God has destroyed these nations before thy face, saying, For my righteousness the Lord brought me in to inherit this good land. Not for thy righteousness, nor the holiness of thy heart, dost thou go to inherit their land. But because of the wickedness of these nations, the Lord will destroy them from before thee. And that he may establish the covenant, which the Lord sware to our fathers, to Abraham, and to Isaac, and to Jacob. And thou shalt know today, that it is not for thy righteousness the Lord thy God gives thee this good land to inherit, for thou art a stiff-necked people. Remember, forget not how much thou provokest the Lord thy God in the wilderness. From the day ye came forth out of Egypt, even till ye came to this place, ye continued to be disobedient toward the Lord. And in Korah ye provoked the Lord, the Lord was angry with you to destroy you. And when I went up into the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tables of the covenant, which the Lord made with you, and I was in the mountain forty days and forty nights, I ate no bread and drank no water. And the Lord gave me two tables of stone written with the finger of God, and on them there had been written all the words which the Lord spoke to you in the mountain in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass, after forty days and forty nights, the Lord gave me the two tables of stone, the tables of the covenant. And the Lord said to me, Arise, go down quickly from hence, for thy people whom thou brought out of the land of Egypt have transgressed. They have gone aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them, and have made themselves a molten image. And the Lord spoke to me, saying, I have spoken to thee once and again, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. And now suffer me utterly to destroy them, and I will blot out their name from under heaven, and will make of thee a nation great and strong, and more numerous than this. 
and I turned and went down from the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to heaven. The two tails of the testimonies were in my hands. When I saw that ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and made to yourselves a molten image, and had gone astray out of the way which the Lord commanded you to keep, then I took hold of the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and broke them before you. And I made my petition before the Lord, as also at the first forty days and forty nights. I ate no bread and drank no water, on account of all your sins which ye sinned in doing evil before the Lord your God to provoke him. And I was greatly terrified because of the wrath and anger, because the Lord was provoked with you, utterly to destroy you. Yet the Lord hearkened to me at this time also. And he was angry with Aaron to destroy him utterly. And I prayed for Aaron also at that time. And your sin which ye made, even the calf, I took and burnt it with fire, and pounded it and ground it till it became fine, and it became like dust. And I cast the dust into the brook that descended from the mountain. Also in the burning and in the temptation, and at the grace of lust, you provoked the Lord. And when the Lord sent you forth from Katie's Barney, saying, Go up and inherit the land which I give to you, then you disobeyed the word of the Lord your God, and believed him not, and hearkened not to his voice. You were disobedient in the things relating to the Lord from the day in which ye had become known to you. And I prayed before the Lord forty days and forty nights, the number that I prayed before, for the Lord said that he would utterly destroy you. And I prayed to God and said, O Lord, King of gods, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, whom thou didst redeem, whom thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt with thy great power, and with thy strong hand, and with thy high arm. Remember Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thyself. Look not upon their hardness of heart of this people, and their impieties, and their sins. Lest the inhabitants of this land, whence thou broughtest us out, speak, saying, Because the Lord could not bring them into the land of which he spoke to them, because he hated them, he has he brought them forth to slay them in the wilderness. And these are thy people, and thy portion, whom thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt, with thy great strength, with thy mighty hand, and with thy high arm. At that time the Lord said to me, Hew for thyself two stone tables as the first, and come up to me into the mountain, and thou shalt make for thyself an ark of wood. And thou shalt write down upon the tables the words which were on the first, tables which thou didst break, and thou shalt put them into the ark. So I made an ark of boards and incorruptible wood, and I hewed tables of stone like the first, and I went up to the mountain, and the two tables were in my hand. And he wrote upon the tables, according to the first writing of the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spoke to you in the mountain, of the midst of the fire, and the Lord gave them to me. And I turned and came down from the mountain, and I put the tables into the ark which I had made. And there they were, as the Lord commanded me. And the children of Israel departed from Beeroth, the sons of Jachim, to Misidae. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son was priest in his stead. Thence they departed to Gadgad, and from Gadgad to Etabatha, a land wherein are torrents of water. At that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand near before the Lord, to minister and bless in his name to this day. Therefore the Levites have no part nor inheritance among their brethren. The Lord himself is their inheritance, as he said to them. And I remained in the mountain forty days and forty nights. And the Lord heard me at that time also, and the Lord would not destroy you. And the Lord said to me, Go, set out before this people, and let them go in and inherit the land which I swear to their fathers, to give to them. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, and to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and his ordinances, all that I charge thee today, that it may be well with thee. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord thy God, the earth and all the things that are in it. Only the Lord chose your fathers to love them, and he chose out of their seed after them even you, beyond all nations, as at this day. Therefore ye shall circumcise the hardness of your heart, and ye shall not harden your neck. For the Lord your God, he is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great and strong and terrible God, who does not accept persons, nor will he by any means accept a bribe, executing judgment on for the stranger, and orphan, and widow, and he loves the stranger to give him food and raiment. And ye shall love the stranger, for you are strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shalt cleave to him, and shalt swear by his name. He is thy boast, and he is thy God, who has wrought in the midst of thee these great and glorious things which thine eyes have seen. With seventy souls your fathers went down into Egypt, 
but the Lord thy God has made thee as the stars of heaven in multitude. Psalm 55, 56 in Hebrew. For the end, concerning the people that were removed from the sanctuary by David for a memorial, when the Philistines caught him in Geth. Have mercy on me, O God, for man has trod me down. All the day long he warring has afflicted me. Mine enemies have trodden me down all the day from the dawning of the day, for there are many warring against me. They shall be afraid, but I will trust in thee. In God I will praise my words. All the day have I hoped in God. I will not fear what flesh shall do to me. All the day long they have abominated my words. All their devices are against me for evil. They will go near and hide themselves. They will watch my steps accordingly as I have waited patiently in my soul. Thou wilt on no account save them. Thou wilt bring down the people in wrath. O God, I have declared my life to thee. Thou hast set my tears before thee, even according to thy promise. My enemies shall be turned back in the day wherein I shall call upon thee. Behold, I know that thou art my God. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his saying. I have hopes in God. I will not be afraid of what man shall do to me. The vows that I praise, O God, which I will pray, are upon me. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, and my feet from sliding, that I should be well-pleasing before God in the land of the living. Proverbs chapter 11, verses 22-26 as an ornament in a swine's snout, so is beauty to an ill-minded woman. All the desire of the righteous is good, but the hope of the ungodly shall perish. There are some who scatter their own, and make it more, and there are some also who gather, yet have less. Every sincere soul is blessed, but a passionate man is not graceful. May he that hoards corn leave it to the nation, but blessing be on the head of him that gives it. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 8, verse 22, through chapter 9, verse 1. And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. He looked up, and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes, and made him look up. And he was restored, and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. And Jesus went out, and his disciples, into the towns of Caesarea Philippi, and by the way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others one of the prophets. And he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answereth, and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders, and of the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he spake that saying openly. And Peter took him, and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. And when he had called the people unto him, with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me, and of my words, in this adulterous and sinful generation of, of him, also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father, and with the holy angels. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power.